Hinley Vocabulary Lesson 17. Our first word is administro, administrare, administrawi, administratus. All right, for this word, I like to think of what an administrator is. What does an administrator do in a party or something like that? What does he do? Well, an administrator manages or attends to the things that are going on, the events, right? So that's how I, remember, I like to remember this word, administro, manage or attend to. And then we have apello, apellerai, are, apelawi, apelatus. So for this one, <laughs> it's kind of funny how I like to remember this one. I basically flip and kind of switch the P's so that they look like D's. And if you do that, then all you have to do is add the rest, sort of. So <laughs> apello means address. So I flipped the P's, I guess. See, there's your P's right there. I flipped them, and then I added on the rest, uh, except there's no T. It's not addressed. It's just address. Or call upon. That one works, too. Op the, the reason why upon is in parentheses is because it's optional. You don't actually have to add it into your translation. And then we have confirmo, confirmare, confirmawi, confirmatus. When you confirm something, then you are basically encouraging or strengthening that idea. And then before we get to this next word, we actually have a few review vocabulary words. So even though in this lesson your vocabulary list looks like it's a lot longer than it actually is, there are actually four different review vocabulary words that we've already gone over before. The first one is do, dare, dedidatus, which means give. And then we have a duo, a duo, which means help or aid. And then coloco, which means place or station. And then a pugno, which means attack, storm, or assault. And then we get to a, little, a few more vocabulary words, new vocabulary words for real. We have conservo, conservare, conservawi, conservatus. So this one, you have to be careful because it looks a lot like the word conserve in English, but it is, it, the actual meaning rhymes with it, but it's not quite the same. It means preserve or spare. So if in this word right here, you swap the con for pre, then you get preserve. So it means preserve or spare. And then we have nom. Nom is really short, but it's, a, it's one way that makes it easy to remember is that it has three letters and its meaning also has three letters. It means for, but not for as in the number. It means for as in because. And then we have ob or ah. So these are just two different ways to write the same word, so don't be confused on why there's two there. Ob is one way, ah is another. Ob is used if you have if the next word that is right after it starts with a consonant, so like a C or something. And then the A is used if the next word starts, oh, sorry, I have that backwards. Ob is if there's a vowel after it, and then ah is if there's a consonant. And that way you don't get, and that way if you were to be speaking Latin really fast, you wouldn't be confused on which one to use. So let me repeat that because I confused that at first. Ob is if you have a vowel after the next word and ah is if the next word has a consonant. This word means by when expressing agency. You'll learn about that and then from whenever it's with the word absum. And it goes with an ablative because it's a preposition. So not too many new words in reality. There are a couple vocab word, review vocab words after that. There's woko, which means call, and occupo, which means seize. But those are review. We've gone over those. So it's just saying we're going to be using those again in the future exercises. So pay attention once again to them. <laughs> All right, so let's go back through and see if we can remember. Administro, administrare, administrawi, administratus. Manage or attend to. Then we have appello. Apelare, apelawi, apelatus. A little bit of a tongue twister, but it means address or call upon. And then we have confirmo, confirmare, confirmawi, confirmatus, which means encourage or strengthen. And then we have conservo, conservare, conservawi, conservatus. Preserve or spare. 
And then we have nom, which remember, even though it means four, it doesn't mean that it has four letters. It only has three, and it's the four that has three letters, not four. <laughs> F-O-R, not F-O-U-R, whenever it means because. And then we have ob or a, which means by or from. There we go. So really not too hard, not too many new vocabulary words, but still pay attention to them, work on memorizing them so that you'll be set for this lesson.